afternoon, everyone. You're watching the Karina Philippines Pro Gaming Series, and we are your shoutcasters. It's been a while since you've seen me. I am Atlas, and with me is Shinbu with a one for an eye. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the second day of our fourth week. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, powered by per powered by Bahus Energy Drink. Drive your energy. You are in for another afternoon of the amazing League of Legends, ladies and gentlemen. To our summoners, gaming at youtube.com slash phgarina slash live share nyo na po yan invite your friends in sama-sama tayo easy muna sa Hunt of the Blood Moon Challenge <laughs> yeah. isa muna sa lang sessions halina't halina to ngayon nyo at manood kasama ang mga pinakamagagaling na professional players na League of Legends summoners sa ating bansa and you know uh, learn a thing or two from them yeah, uh, watching pro uh, pro series is actually a very good learning experience for yeah. all players out there from bronze all the way to challenger you can it's learn been a long time man it's been a yeah, long time that i haven't have you in this desk how are you man i am doing fine you're actually doing it fine. feels really good to be back on the desk okay. here and uh -huh. i'm excited to cast league of legends uh, especially uh, the pgs uh, loss uh, of what about faces. in the game are you yeah. doing fine in the game mm, the gold. <laughs> Still, uh, it's Still. been really really slow for me climbing Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been spending most of my time watching foreign leagues. Okay. And uh, the new 10 ban system, actually, I feel has been working really, really great for the competitive scene. Lots of mind games you can do with it. Mm -hmm. Lots of It changes a lot of how uh, teams think mm -hmm. uh, in competitive. Yes. So I'm really excited to see more of it here in the Philippines as yeah. well. We'll get into that, ladies and gentlemen. But of course, to our schedule, you could see there na unang laban na nakalatag para sa inyo, mga summoners natin. Look at that. Mm, juicy, mga kaibigan. Dalawang ibon. Sino ang, mas, <laughs> sino ang lilipad ng mas mataas? Yep. Manila Eagles. Team Manila Eagles versus TNC Pro Team. Uh, of course, meron pa tayong match 2 tsaka match 3. Pero for this matchup, entering this matchup, Team Manila Eagles tsaka TNC Pro Team. What are your initial thoughts? Initial thoughts? Mm -hmm. Two-piece spicy fried chicken tayo oh. dito. And <laughs> With pineapple. <laughs> and, uh, and upgrade to pineapple and upgrade juice. To pineapple now, ingat ingat tayo dito. Oh, <laughs> but uh, looking at the matchup, uh, TNC is uh, relatively new compared to uh, Team Manila Eagles, which was Cerberus uh, last season. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's going to be really explosive still because looking at TNC's games, they have been uh, performing relatively well, uh, surprisingly well actually yeah. for a new mm -hmm. team. And looking at their standings, uh, they are very close, 5-5 five, five to 4-4. Four, four. Yes, uh, you can see there. Uh, Yes, 5-5, five, 4-4. Five, four, four. Mm -hmm. And do take note, guys, Team Manila Eagles is actually the full rebrand yep, of what, uh, what has been known as Cerberus Esports. And, you know, uh, familiar na familiar na team na tayo mm -hmm. sa Cerberus Esports. It's actually the uh, kind of dati sister team, di ba? Yep. Nang Imperium Pro Team. So, yung lineup din dito talaga ng Team Manila Eagles are composed of, you know, veterans who already has made a name for themselves in the local league, in the local scene. So, ayun, we're very, very excited. You know, <laughs> sabi nga natin, dalawang ibon yung maglalaban dito. TNC Pro Team, a very popular esports brand, and of course, Team Manila Eagles, players of old, and you facing it off in the Summoner's Reef. I wonder though, I'm curious nga uh, ako, anong itsura ngayon ng Summoner's Reef sa custom, oh, sa custom yeah. match natin. If, uh, Blood if I'm not mistaken, sa custom match natin, Blood Moon yung nakalagay. Yep. Pero, I may have to check on that one, kung Blood Moon nga yung i-a-adapt well, natin we'll see dito. once we load onto the Reef. What?
breaking the barus, knowing that uh, the Jin has been banned away yep. from Marquee. So, Team Manila Eagles is that confident of not picking an ADC yet for Marquee, or maybe. I'm not sure. Hindi ko pa nakita ang Corky eh, sa champion pool dito ni Yeah, usually Marky. if we do see it, it's going to be the mid lane, lane Corky. Yeah, oh, oh. So there's a lot of uh, damage coming from range champions here yeah. on the side of Manila Eagles if they are going to opt making this Corky into the mid lane. So the towers are just going to be shredded and TNC if they're going for uh, more tower sieging. And interestingly, Ooh. the answer here... Uh, 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 also, on That's the picks pa. The answer here on the Gragas lock-in by TNC on their last pick for their second turn uh, is the Ivern, no? Yeah, the Ivern. Uh, on early really build, uh, Well, pinakita rin naman ng Team Manila Eagles na Caitlyn, mm -hmm. Oh, but the nerf on the Ivern, I don't think is as impactful if you're going to consider early laning. Yes, that yeah. nerf was mainly on Daisy's health yeah. regeneration. So, if you can still combo with the Ivern in the lane, it's still going to be really strong. Yung control niya. The control uh, in the lane six. as well. Pre-level six still with a brush, with a CC that he can bring out and a little bit of survivability. So and now we see. Look at that. Walang Caitlyn. Yeah, so walang Caitlyn. So it's definitely the not a mid lane Varus. Mm -hmm. We got a Talon. We're getting a Talon. I'm not sure if that's gonna... It's very unlikely. My guess here is it's very unlikely it's gonna go in the top lane. We'll be seeing yeah, that it's in the It's really difficult uh, for Talon to yeah. oh, survive Luma, in the top matagal lane. Matagal na yung pag-scrubs lang yata yung top lane Talon. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure. Right now talaga, I definitely put Talon in the mid lane, especially with the lethality changes. Uh, and finalizing Trundle here, you can see for Team Manila Eagles, so we got a Poppy, then a Karma. Trundle is the answer. Your overall thoughts mm -hmm. in advance and in the compos compositions. Composition so far for TME. Very, very ranged focus. Poke focus. You have mm. the Corky. You have Karma is also very useful. Uh, the, Of course, the Misfortune is no slouch as well when it comes to that. So it seems like it's going to be... Yeah, it seems like that's what's going to happen. The Misfortune will be the AD carry here. With supporting will be the Karma. So yeah. that's a really powerful lane in terms of poking, trading in lane. Uh, if the Varus and Janna... J Varus and Janna is uh, not, uh, not a super aggressive and matchup. So... Do take note as well yeah. that in the last game here, uh, Vars and Janna, mentioning naman for the top lane, mm -hmm. that in the last game here of TNC, where they actually snagged away one victory against Mineski, yeah. uh, Lando was rolling on this trundle. He's gonna repeat it again. Interestingly, uh, Suzaku, kasi ang featured, uh, I think if there's one matchup na gusto nating batayan sa laban na to, that would be on Suzaku. Suzaku and Lando, Lando the top oh. lane. Yeah, uh, looking at it statistically, Suzaku has been a super big factor in the matchup here for, uh, for Team Manila Eagles, looking at his KDA 3.7. But, you know, Lando is one of the top laners that uh, can actually fear for himself when, himself yeah, when it comes to the laning base. Oh, uh, I'd say, yes, he's a good contender against Suzuku. Do take note, guys, na isa sa mga alamat ng ating top lane, JLC. Si JLC, yeah, JLC, uh, mentioning JLC. JLC, Lando defeated him in the duel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but right now, again, guys, we are live here. In the Summoner's Reap, and yes indeed, it is the Blood Moon team. Oh Summoner's Reap, game one for the first match here on the second day of week four for the Pro Gaming Series 2017 Spring Split played between Team Manila Eagles versus TNC Pro Team. Gaming.youtube.com slash pgarina slash live. Please log in your Google accounts and tell us which team are you supporting your insights and your cheers as well. Mm-hmm. Please check, mga kaibigan. Will they connect the setter? Oh, yes, Marky. and it's all dashed! <laughs> A flash oh. out! But Match, he will be flashing in. What did Match get first? I, I think he uses his... Key. I think he got Q. If yeah, I'm I believe mistaken. so, because he uh. did not bring out the rake there. It was to gap close. He's still going for it. Yeah. Oh, first blood. First blood. Mm. 
work. <laughs> I, I think that is worth. Yeah, TNC represent. Getting the first blood there, plus all of the assists onto TNC. The magic reaction of Mark Kidon. Kita nyo ba yung character ko? Miss Fortune, nagbabakasyon nga lang eh. Village yan. Na-pull party nga lang yung Miss Fortune ko. Yeah, but that that does burn both of Marky's summer spells. Yep. Even though match, it's not a really big pressure that he loses both his Ignite and his Flash. Chalk's going to have a little easier time. But... That payoff was great, I believe. Yeah, I believe. Uh, level 1, dalawang longsword. Yeah, dalawang oh, longsword. Uh, uh -oh. Plus, the, get that little extra gold from the assist coming from uh, the rest of the team. Yes. yes. So that's really, really nice. Ooh. Clouds of punishment being brought here in the bottom duo of Team Manila Eagles face checking. Oh. But, do you take note now, once all your cooldowns are hot, especially on level 1, yep. you get punished. Okay, misses that blast there, but that trade ended up really even, but seems like right now Marky and Shadow are pushing it really deep the way they... Oh, that is painful onto Raze. That is the power of Misfortune. Oh, so uh, we were thinking that it is a uh, Misfortune support, yep. but rather it's going to be a Misfortune ADC. And laki talaga ng shift, no? Ng yeah, bottom the lane. I re that's what I really like about... Yeah, just because of the Zyra nerf. Yeah, just uh, what I really like about the misfortune there is we were deceived. That was a very flexible pick here. Yeah, match. clearly. Uh, and siguro, it's it's very likely that we're not only shoutcasters who deceived. Yeah. Uh, that uh, was well, very well played. Well, it's Gunner the digs that we don't have misfortune support, but Mohang! I wonder if it's between Yux and... Uh, Emperor Kaji yung mananalo sa pustahan. Nagpupustahan sila kanina. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung ano, kung, kung pagkain ba or anything. Pero, Corky tsaka Talon, you know, you don't see that much. Uh, hindi mo masyado nakikita yung ganyan. Kadalas yung ganyang classic matchup. Yeah, you don't see up. that matchup. Yeah. But it seems like blood, the Blood Moon skin is really paying off. Between the, the synergy, the home, the home base synergy here. First Blood daw, yun yung malaking tanong eh. Uh, kayo ba, mga summoners, if ever lang, uh, dahil meron ng First Blood, between the two, uh, Corky and Talon, head-to-head -head match. Sino kayo mananalo? Your thoughts? Uh, My thoughts Atlas. there, because you, you saw that Match did not have his Ignite and his Flash there. Mm -hmm. And already, he was able to force out the, both Summer Spells from Chalk there. Mm -hmm. So that is very telling for the matchup. But you do, are, take note, do take note, may double long Yeah, that do, double long there, mm -hmm. but even then, uh, I think the tools that, he, that Talon has, mm -hmm. it will allow him to just match Corky every time in the trades. My thing as well is uh, I was leaning more on Corky really? just by default because, because of, of the range and all the uh, yeah. of the range. But the thing is, uh, uh, if your reaction time is fast enough, yeah. you can do the noxion diplomacy to just dodge out uh -oh. the phosphorus bomb and then win the trade. But that it's does require. Nga rin sa side, pero oh, okay. si match dito. Marky, no match kay di pala si match dito. Rather, he's trying to predict any anti moves there. But the bottom duo of Team Manila Eagles are scared by the movement of uh, match there. Not quickly uh, diving in to Marky, but nonetheless, one kill in the hands of TNC. And that's going to be two kills now for match. So mm -hmm. he does get the serrated dirt there. That's going to make Chalk's life so much harder now that match also has his ignite up. And you can see that the ward coverage there from the Manila Eagles was very good in the river. Uh, the minimap was lit up, however. Oh, do well here. trade up here. Uh, I'm very curious. Had it been na uh, siguro pa kung melee damage yon ng cube ni Talon dito? Very painful. Oh. But look at that. There is clearly a miscalculation. A mismatch from Match there. As he dives in and touches the belly of Coops. Of course, he gets bursted down and 2-2 into our scoreboard. Clearly yeah. a mistake by the mid laner here of TNC. That was uh, really underestimating yeah. the power of Gragas to just block damage and then stun and then lock you down with that body slam. But I, I think it was sitting around 200 health. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and just bursted down by the drunken oh. rage. <laughs> Early game damage ng Gragas jungle, mm -hmm. malaki yun. Very scary. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, even with that little mishap there, uh, you could see the... Oops. No. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, something would be forced too much here. They're trying to like ramp uh, Lando and aim for if he ever he decides to aim for uh, tower dive. But interestingly, you know, both members here of the Manila Eagles just trying to willing, drive him off. Yeah, you know, willing to get this stand off without any mana. Well, you know, uh, so I think that won't continue. Yeah, just going to cover there so they can both recall. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, even though with 
Okay, oh, okay. there's aggressive. a flash in. Blast the Zephyr, ladies and gentlemen, as they know that Burst will join the party. They have no vision, no rather the tenor of the Karma. They are in the brush. Teleport, ladies and gentlemen, Suzaku will join the party. The, of course, the fueled Karma executes the Ivern. Orthros will run for his life. Will he get the blasting cone? And surprise, Suzaku in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't love the CC. Will he be able to make the kill? Does it have enough damage? And nicely done there by Arthros with the shield and Howling Gale walks away to see he still bursts. He's gone. For That's that another fight. miscalculation coming from mm -hmm. TNC here, trying to go for uh, the three man onto the bot lane. However, that's not enough damage. Janna, not really known as a high damage uh, support. Yeah, Ivern as well. Uh, and Varus at that point of the game doesn't have enough damage to follow it all up. So that did cost them one life, giving 300 gold. Huntu, I believe, uh, Shadow. Yes, and no now he's in trouble. That Janna is gone here in the bottom lane. Ooh, so really close. aiming for a full punishment. Against Reyes, one last hit. Could have make it. But. Yeah. Again, gusto lang tanongin sa'yo, uh, Atlas, mm -hmm. with the nerf on Zyra. I haven't even seen... Oh, hold on, oh. on, body slam, ladies and gents. That is a flash oh. kill as well. Down there by Coops. Much more kaibigan with the parkour to safety. Clearly, uh, I would suggest um, uwi na, uwi na. Yep, <laughs> Sayang yep. yung skin. Mastery. Sayang oh. yung skin, kasapi. Anyway, going back, because of the nerf of the Zyra, I haven't even seen a Zyra ban. Yeah. Okay. And uh, even though most people say, oh, it's just 10 mana on her, on her yes. uh, garden and so all. So clearly there's a shield now yeah. in the bottom lane. Because she Both. can't spam it as much. Uh, With that 10 mana, it's huge. I'd say not just in the support mm. uh, champions, but also in the pool of ADC champions. But let's post more on the support champions. What are your yeah. thoughts? Now na bumabalik, kahapon may trash tayo mula kay yeah. And now we're seeing uh, Orthros rolling on this Janna. What are your thoughts right now for the trend? Will this continue this trend of the uh, reassumption? Pagbabalik ng mga utility supports natin. I think it's. I don't think it's going to be a long-lasting trend. Utility, uh -huh. uh, utility supports. Because okay. you already get a lot of the utility you need from the AD carries that are popular. You have the mm -hmm. uh, you have the Ash. You have the Varus. Uh, I think this is just a manifestation of of the Zyra nerf. Okay. A short-term manifestation of Zyra nerf. So 10 mana, they don't want to risk it just yet. It's very likely the story pa rin is to... There's still very likely a tendency mm -hmm. na yung support pa rin ay gagawin... Uh, AP supports. Yeah, AP supports. supports you see here yeah. the Karma got picked up by Shadow. Uh, I do think that if uh, they're going for these kinds of supports, it's going to be still the Karma, uh, these really high damage in lane uh, supports. Yeah. My take as well is, uh, hindi lang naman yun si Zyra sa totoo lang. Yeah. Uh, there are still actually a lot of AP supports available. Mm -hmm. uh, I think punishing naman yeah. yung uh, Void Beater ni Malzahar. But if you really want to remove the Malzahar support, uh, I think you'd want to nerf not the Void Links, but rather the Malefic Visions. Ah uh, yeah, the, the Space Gaze as you call them. Yes. So that's your call. Uh, your take is for baka hin it's very likely na hindi pa mawawala yeah, it's very like, yeah. Yeah, looking at yeah. the just the AD carries as well you, yeah, you can't separate the support from the AD carry uh, because and there's an excess of utility yeah. and yeah there might be an excess of utility and there might not be enough damage to fight back mm -hmm. uh, in lane even if you ha get a counter gank from your jungler it's still going to be very hard if your support can't deal the same amount of damage yeah. as expected oh, nga naman. so ngayon guys do take note that may available a Infernal Ring in our bottom lane. So clearly, Cooks uh, will be able to invest in good time here in the bottom lane. There's a flash in by Lado. Ito na mga kaibigan, kwento ng isang tao na... Yung kata ni Lado. Anyway, very likely, Suzaku clearly lost that uh, control in yeah, the top lane. Looking at the CS right mm -hmm. now, look, it's 57 to 92. That is huge. And forcing burst, uh, forcing... Coops, rather, to always be on the watch in the top lane, that just hurts the rest of uh, Team Manila Eagles a lot because that really relieves a lot of the pressure. And this, uh, uh, so now we have to focus on this for lane, mean, which I'm is great for that. Oh, I'm curious now because, uh, uh, as far as I know, uh, one good pick up against a Poppy would be the Trundle. Mm -hmm. Pero on the drafting phase kanina, yung Trundle pinili ng mas maaga. Yeah. Kaysa Poppy. So they picked the Poppy first. Yeah. They uh, I think that might be related to their other picks. Uh -oh. Probably the misfortune. They need that bodyguard kind of tank there. Yeah. And also uh, isolating some targets here, especially considering uh, their 
there's the top talent yeah. as well. Not necessarily on the laning phase yung kapo yeah. yung panalo dito ni Suzaku. And to take note naman na Suzaku nga in terms of kill participation, he's been effective compared to Lando when yeah. it comes to so playing far, along with his teammates. Yeah, but so far we haven't seen him in any super impact, mm. impactful teleport plays. Yeah, and ang sakit dito ni Lando ngayon ha, that is a uh, Ravenous Hydra completed. Mm -hmm. So you can see there, ladies and gents, na uh, uh, the head-to-head -head matchup then ng ating support. Interestingly, we won't be seeing any misfortune support here yep, yep. or any AP supports. Right now, it's the classic. It's actually kind of good to see this. Karma and Janna in the bot lane. Okay. So but much higher kill participation from Orthrus. He has less games played yep. than the rest of the supports. But uh, in those three, now four, I believe, games that he's been active uh, on the side of TNC, he's been really, really been effective. And as a Janna, uh, might have a fight here with Clips in the background, but they seem to be so, hugging their tower for mm -hmm. now. Uh, Clearly, napakadilim din ng reverse side mo. So mm -hmm. it's just very intuitive na not to just commit. Uh, yeah. Not to really commit. Just need to be really careful. You have the Varus. Mm -hmm. He can CS from far away. The and piercing arrow is going to help him that, with that. Uh, even if you have the Karma there, throwing out uh, those Soul Flares is going to be relatively decent farming from him. You can see he's matching... Uh, Marquis farm as well, even though they're being pushed into the tower. And uh, body burst though, though. is just too powerful. Now here comes burst. Won't uh, well, you'll be able to land the Q, but it's quite awkward to really follow up under turret, especially against a poppy in the top lane. At least it's a sama pinagusapa natin kanina. Win conditions mm -hmm. for TNC versus Team Manila Eagles, knowing that uh, we kind of have the tendency to say na TNC pro team would be the underdog yeah, as they face they're the performing Manila Eagles. Yes, really the, well. the veteran, uh, facing a veteran team. But <laughs> yun nga, isa sa mga win conditions dito ng TNC Pro Team would be to shut down Suzaku. Yeah, and it seems they did. They did so yes, but this might be actually still part of the plan coming from Team Manila uh, Eagles, team Manila yeah. Eagles mm -hmm. to just focus on everything oh. else. Let them take Suzaku out. He's basically a sacrificial lamb for now because uh, Poppy is okay. <laughs> I do not know. Uh, it's an infernal break in the hands of Team Manila Eagles just because of the camp that is mm -hmm. the time that is being invested in the top lane by first. Because yun, will that be worth it? Do take note na napaka beneficial sa isang talon. Yeah, infernal, uh, infernal, uh, infernal Drake. But here again, it's going to be the quirky and the misfortune instead. Uh, it's still really huge looking at their kits. Uh, but yeah, Poppy, uh, he, she is very useful as a champion even if she doesn't have a lot of gold. The body the bodyguard potential is just huge, especially with the uh, with the ultimate that she has. Yes. So it's going to be really effective if Suzaku can protect Marky uh, later in the game. And we're not even seeing any uh, clear run here by yeah. match on his talent. Completed the unmask. That might be the spike he's looking for, but he's constantly being pressured to mid lane, always being uh, made low, so he has to back off, so he doesn't have a lot of room to farm, uh, not to farm, to roam. Do they know that the one who's playing for the mid lane here as well would not be Trevor, but rather Chalk. Mm -hmm. He's going to be Chalk. Oh, so, uh, quite new, but all time player that Yeah, yeah so we've just, seen it a uh, lot as well. Quite new for Team Manila Eagles. Chalk picking up that Phage, the second component to his Triforce. On the other hand, Match does pick up another Serrated Dirk. And I love the way how Koops is putting control on this bottom lane and mid lane. It's just there being the clear threat. Medyo of sync yung inisik na yun. Hindi nga medyo. Toto to, talaga. Dahil malaking mali. Body slam palayo. Flash in. Clearly a different thing. <laughs> Oh man. Is, uh, you know, rose into the minds of the jungler and mid lane of Team Manila Eagles. Uh, to give him the benefit of the doubt, it could have been a feint to deceive them, but in the end, it doesn't work out. Match I think the feint should be a body slam pa forward and splash. Pala. Yeah, we, uh, reverse feint. <laughs> Yeah, so but that that gave match another one of his kill one of another kill, so that's gonna be huge match here just waiting for Coops to use his cooldowns. But okay, Dredging's health because of the passive, he's still gonna go for it though. But in range is that the Q he will get the jump. Nice yeah. padding. How to talon, ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. oh, normally kung uh talon ko yan, ginamit ko na kagad yung assassin spot papunta dun sa Raptor Cup. But you know, one intuitive use of Assassin's Path is to use it as an escape tool. Yeah, that's why I think uh, Talon doesn't, as one of the Assassins, doesn't need Storm Raider Surge as much. Ah, uh, It's still very useful for a lot of Assassins, but 
uh, for Rengar who has the Battle Roar. Uh -oh. Well, not now because of the nerf, but before you could just ditch Storm Raider Surge and go for Thunderlords to do for more damage. Full damage. And just let your kit do the saving for you. Ah, yes. Uh, and well, Assassin's well, Path is really useful for yeah. that. Mas bukan nga yun, kasi talagang Storm Raider Surge din ako kay Talon. Kasi, pero kopya pro builds lang naman. Kopya pro builds. <laughs> kopya pro builds. That, that is valid, because mm. uh, you do need a way out. Okay. Alright, here in the bottom lane, the package will be delivered on to Raze and also the Valkyrie in Exhaust. Redemption. I think that's a redemption in favor of the Manila Eagles. Clearly a pick up yep, against the late, ADC uh, of TNC. So that's going to be one kill for Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, Raze did not expect that package from there, but that was... The initiating power. No yeah, the initiating package, power. Oh. You should always be mindful of that. Even if uh. that Corky is normally within the mid lane, you still have to be mindful of that because the range of that is just so huge and you can just get picked off, especially if you're a Varus. Very mobile to carry. And take note, man. There's uh, no Trinity Force. Si yeah, Corky. That's really Had painful. it been that there's a Trinity Force, uh, I think Chalk would be influencing a lot of skirmishes na. Yeah, but that he, opt, he did opt to get the Sorcerer's Shoes first for a more magic penetration. Yeah, as you can see as of well, with the top lane uh, outer turret gone uh, for TME and TNC as well, losing their bottom lane outer, mm -hmm. we are steadily walking to the doors of the mid game. This game and so far, the, yeah. the, the game has still been very, very even. The 2K, the yeah. 3K gold lead, mm -hmm. not very subs, not too substantial. Rather, it's going to be the dragon that might uh, make the difference here from kind the high damage mark and shot. Uh, kind of hindi ganon ka matatag taas yung condition mm -hmm. na kailang fulfill den ng TNC dito uh, for their composition to work. Yep. Uh, right now, actually, they're not making a rotation to conduct that. Right now, what they are doing is really just leave race, let him be Muna yeah. for the bottom lane as they just try to scout whatever the rotations are of uh, Team Manila Eagles, which falls mostly in the mid lane and in this they're bottom really lane. The mid lane yeah. Nice opener there by TNC. Allow race to push in the bottom lane, then big tayo mag swap for the Ocean Drake. Q won't be able to scale. No chance it's for lane. interfering there. Yep. They're going to transition here for the bot lane. That's more turrets, but it seems like Susaku yeah. is just going to trade the tower there in the top lane. But they might actually, if they don't pay attention. So it's going to be one tower here in the bot lane for two towers. Match is going to try and defend this. Uh, actually, completes the wave. Clearly, reach on the rotation will they be able to make a peek off against Ooh. Match. He's gonna be, he's gonna be protected in a way. No, no brush later. Maybe the members of Team Manila Eagles losing vision against Match, whereas the pressure is still on. Man, dude, Down here man. by the top laner in the ADC of DNC. Do take note that one of the best champions to push oh. turns would be the Toronto. Ah, either bottom lane turn would be God focus on the shadow. Puts in the subject to the support. Now on to market in the bottom oh, duel oh of God. DME is gone. Here comes Chalk. Here comes Corky. And here comes Burst. And the rest of the members of DNC. Match is doing some trade up in the red side jungle. Chalk is doing their best to Zaku as well to defend the chase and the siege and the engage of DNC. It's a three for one exchange. Oh my god, I love that response from TNC there. They, I thought they were going to lose both towers against Team Manila Eagles, but they transitioned two of their members to try and defend that, and then successfully this allows the Trundle, which has the Hydra and the and Rays, to just keep pushing the bottom turret, and this gives them actually the ability yeah. to press to pressure the second tier turret. You have to be very careful, really, of allowing yeah. a Trundle near your turret. Yes, it's so painful. He can jump a turret, right? <laughs> yes, uh. and. This entire and that just transitions them into a team fight where it is favorable for TNC. Yes. TME no longer has the explosive gas. They tried. Uh, they tr use it to bring Daisy out of the fight. So when they tried to protect that bottom lane, they just got destroyed by TNC's response. And this actually allowed them to take not only the second tier and inhibitor turret, and but also the mid lane. Just because of the presence of Lando as well, it is yes. very easy for TNC to ignore the presence of Suzaku mm -hmm. uh, on that game. 2-0 Su oh, and 2. Uh, Suzaku just, I mean, he's doing his best talaga to yeah. build for his teammates. Uh, the thing that should be done naman bilang, bilang isang tank, 
Pero ang dali lang, naglalakad lang talaga yung ano, TNC, pass him, and go for the backlines. Just yeah. because there's some form of immobility rin dito sa uh, misfortune natin, sa karma, mm -hmm. if ever they receive a hit at all. Uh, so, Suzuki really needs to uh, try and do his best as a bodyguard, but it's so hard. And especially if Suzuku does get into a situation where he can fight back, the subjugate could be brought onto him and just shred his tank stats. The, what little tank stats he has, he has a Sunfire Cave, but he seems like he's going for the Iceborne Gauntlet next. It's all yeah, going to be shredded what, if he gets subjugated. In terms, look of, at him. in terms of engage, especially with this aggressive composition yeah. and stance now by TNC. You can see him having a hard time here. It's hard, really. There's another mechanic here that he's going to play with TNC. Ooh, that. Is that uh, the movement speed, the movement speed mm -hmm. passive ni Miss Fortune can easily be removed by one Q of the battles. Yep, and from that, there, you can easily range. initiate. And oh, so Zaku doesn't even need to receive any armor penetration just to melt in the hands of the members of TNC. Do they know that in, if you observe the item, it's just double Yunmus, okay? For the mid laner and ADC of TNC. That's they a lot of are, mobility and arm pen, yeah, and lethality rather. Looking so good in this game. Yeah, and I am actually surprised and impressed by the performance here in the mid game. Early game, it wasn't as uh, it wasn't phenomenal, oh but God. the mid game here, they're just shredding towers left yeah, and right. Yeah, they're going to be here now. Here comes the initiation of Goose Bullet Time, ladies and gentlemen, and Chalk will cut the members of DNC. Nice placement of the package! Para equalizer level and you bag it two members of DNC. Good job there by the mid laner, Chalk. Londo is gone, also as Orthros, but match will be here in the bottom lane. Put pressure and destroy an inhibitor turret. Good thing he's not able to destroy that bottom lane inhibitor. Yeah, the inhibitor is good for TME, and that was actually really over overconfident there in the top lane by TNC. At least they did get the inhibitor turret, but that is still very, very overconfident. Yeah. Good. And okay, <laughs> nice body block there by Daisy. But it's going to be one of the factors here for TNC that they need to consistently uh, exploit. Imagine going to create a generate city. <laughs> uh, but look at that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be our first code for today's search and win promo. Type nyo na po yan. Bumukas na kayo ng bagong tab at paunahan po. Follow the instructions and bam! You get yourself a mystery gift. Huwag po kayo mag sa mga hindi mauna. Mm -hmm. Still, Finish the instructions and you still have that uh, fighting chance, chance on getting and winning the final mystery gift of today's search and win promo. But you can see that from the previous minutes, in the span of like what, five minutes, mm -hmm. the gold lead changed from only 2.5k all the yeah. way to what, 8k? 8.5? Uh, and that's actually a huge turning point for TNC. Then this gives him a lot more freedom to, with their builds. And look at the match going to try and one to make Suzaku. Still very hard. It's a tank after all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yes, man. <laughs> steadfast presence. The steadfast presence just stops all oh. dashes. That includes Assassin's Spam. Bad. So that is a little misplay there by TNC. Yeah. And actually gives a lot of time for the Manila Eagles to actually know. Total sadness. Man. Yeah, La Lando's not giving them any time at all to just relax a bit and gather their senses. You know, even uh, even when things go south for his team, Suzaku still has something to show for us. Talaga, yes, no? of course. Uh -huh. uh, Didi, one of the best players then in LOL, uh, have to help the position of being the top one solo queue player yep, for a long, long time, for a sizable time. So, yep, lots of expectations. Uh, for the top laner here of Team Manila Eagles. Let's see, it's still anybody's game. Still anybody's yeah, this game. kind of lead is not conclusive. Uh, this team composition coming from TNC still does have a time limit. Yep. Uh, yep. If the talent, if he can't one shot the carries, yes. uh, if they're protected well enough into the late game, it's going to fall off. Really? But this yeah, ocean break might help them a little bit with the sieges that they want. Maybe they do get the ocean break. That's, I believe, two ocean breaks now for them. Yeah, the hard uh, thing naman talaga dito para lang sa ating Manila Eagles is that Lando split. Yeah, that the Lando, pressure that comes Lando from uh, Trandel. Because right now, uh, ang oh. hirap walang may kaya makipag 1v1. Kay Lando po, mga huli sila ng puno dito. Daisy has been released, ladies and gents. Even, I thought it was a bullet time yung pala. Yeah, <laughs> Katinggan ni, ng Arcade Corgi. Okay. 
Very, very, very uh, uh, confusing to the eye. Yeah. Magkamuha talaga yung skill. Pero there you go. A collapse and a peak by TNE. Yeah, That's how know. you win. I don't know what Burst was doing there. Yeah. yeah, even if you say he did leave a ward or two there. And ang ganda rin ang ginagawa dito ng Team Manila Eagles. They're not forcing or taking Clash na basta-basta lang. Yeah. Pero, you know, uh, a peak off? Why not? By default, a peak off multiple members getting one member of the enemy team that's out a, of position. A, that's good. Kill gold, assist gold, oh. XP as well. Auto win. So that's going to be a, a victory for them, small victory th for them in catching up here. But let's see how they can actually close the gap here. Two Ocean Drakes is not ideal for TNC's team composition, mm -hmm. but it's going to be really effective if uh, Lando keeps split pushing here. And that really is one of the biggest factors, as you've said. The Lando split push, you need to dedicate not just two members mm -hmm. to, to just kill this trundle here. <laughs> si Duterte yung ang tawag dyan ni Manjin yun. Mga kaibigan. Oh, man. Okay, so, for this game, again, the conditions right now, two of the doors in the base of Team Manila Eagles are open. Good thing, hindi papasag yung inhibitors. Yeah, that's Juicy, gonna be making it really hard if they do. Yes, juicy objectives available in the map would be a Baron buff. Already spawned on his pit. Do take note that in the Drake count, we got two Ocean Drakes in the hands of TNC, whereas one Infernal Drake would be spawning in a few minutes. As well as of the gold lead, there's a 6k gold lead here. 6k gold uh, lead for TNC again. Uh, setting up the Baron usually, ini isip natin na pag naka double AD or masyadong maraming AD yung kalaban, yeah. you pick up armor penetration. Mm -hmm. But the thing here is, uh, you pick up armor, sorry, you pick up armor, yeah. But just because there's itong double AD na to, uh, talo ni the mid lane, and of course, you get uh, mid barus as well. It's not intuitive really because there's a lot of lethality. Yeah, and a lot of redemption <laughs> as well that won't be received here. Oh as God. you mentioned here, Atlas, you have to send more than two members just to kill Lando. And this actually opens up the opportunity for match to also put some pressure in the top yeah. lane. The rest of TNC is going to the mid lane. I think Suzaku is going to say bye bye, especially with Orthros coming into the fray here. Ma, make us mga pang newscaster, news anchor sa tabi mo. And yep, clearly a <laughs> oh win my God. on all ends there by TNC Pro Team. It's a matter of time before they destroy at least two inhibitors. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. because they can clearly initiate match would be initiated. Shooting on to Coops gets punished by Marky with a bullet time. And dito na rin si Daisy. Two members remaining for TME. Will they be able to defend this one? Raze managed to smite a snipe. Marky with a Q. Whereas Lando and Orthros. <laughs> okay lang. Alam mo, inhibitor tayo mga kaibigan. Also, here comes Chok. Ah, members, Coops rather doing his best to soak up damage from four members of TNC. We mentioned two inhibitors make the three. Sabi ni TNC as two members are still on the dead timers. Clearly, clearly. Uh, it's just a matter of time. What TNC needs here is just to fall back and, you know, fight again. And they have a lot of pressure on all ends of the map. Baron is still available. Baron is still available. They're poised to win this game. Yeah, and that's actually like the three Exodia parts to a game. Uh -huh. Getting three inhibitors down, that relieves so much pressure from your team. You can you have the leisure and time mm -hmm. to just take Baron, uh, take uh, the next Drake, take the rest of their buffs, take the entire base, take all their camps. Uh, so it's going to be really hard for TME to keep going. Uh, even with if you say they have really good wave clear from the Karma, from uh, from the core key, what it's is still needed going to be is very, very uh, difficult. Miracle Clash, Miracle yeah. Setup. Okay, Yunmus Ghost Blade activated there by Max. One turn would oh. be enough, puts in the Q ultimate as well. And one final W, oh. maybe just the ultimate return of the blades. Exhaust oh. on the match, doesn't get, doesn't get the Assassin's Path onto the other edge. Pero mukhang hindi niya naman kailangan kasi paparating na rin. Ito ang si Reis, ito ring si Burst. Let's see, apat na lamang natitirang membro dito ng Team Manila Eagles. Malapit si Max, malapit si Lando, lahat ng membro. Ivern though is seeding. Near the Baron, and there's the signal to rotate for it. I think it's just the cherry on top that you need to win this game. Yeah, and, and like I said, this relieves so much pressure for them. Uh -huh. They can just take this take this Baron, and if they notice that none of the enemy team, uh, none of the blue team is trying to defend, that that means they're going for Baron. So there's a lot of information you can gain from the, all those super main. Nakatawa yung, yeah. uh, na yung shape ni Baron, no? <laughs> Tapos pag nilagyan siya ng brush sa baka. Yeah, it's going uh, to become invisible. It's like, uh, it's like a funny image, really. Okay. Anyway, 
uh, 10-13, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, with this Baron, why not? Why not? Uh, take yes, you don't need that. Because of Lando's lead here, because of this Trundle, not necessarily fed, but really strong for this game. Oh, we are kind of unstoppable na from the rest of the members of Team Manila Eagles, ladies and gentlemen, in a fashionable manner. I think this is going to be the game. It's only a matter of bringing Rays inside the base of DMA. And there you go. It's going to be DNC Pro Team wow. victory against Team Manila Eagle. Very clean. Yeah. Very clean. That was um, an impressive showing from Lando there and the rest of the, their team because I, li I, I really like the turning point for that. I really like the rotation when they went for the bot lane. And then, so the response here, okay, we can get top. Uh, uh, Minnelli Eagles thinks, oh, we can get both top lane and mid lane. But during all of that, they send, um, TNC sends two of their members to intercept, successfully intercept, uh, take away some of the cooldowns mm -hmm. and uh, uh, damage them. So once they get to the bot lane, the the second turret, the second tier turret's already almost halfway, and Lando can just keep chomping at it. And when they try to defend the last uh, turret, it just falls apart for them. When really they like have that. the lead, D and C Pro team is very good at putting pressure yes. on allocating their team members for this game. On allocating their team members, na hindi naman kailangan lahat magbaron. Yeah. One can speak push. Ah, uh, medyo weird nga na ang pinapa split push. Ah, uh, you see match. Normally, what you'd want for an assassin is to really rotate, mm -hmm. diba? Uh, out rotate, divide and conquer. Yeah. That, that's where uh, most of the assassin shines. But look at that. Uh, clearly, the player of this game, the name would be on Lando. Yeah. Raise all that farm in the bottom lane. Paid off. Yun sana yung window na yun eh. Mm. If during that uh, opening of the mid game phase, had it been yes. that Team Manila Eagle focus on taking the fight in race passive lane which is yung maagang nasira na bottom lane outer ng TNC maybe they could maybe they be able to like cash in you know uh, kill goals from kills that mula dun sa skirmishes na pwede nilang mabuo especially yes. na ang una nilang aalisin would be the Varus yeah. yeah rotate 4 members bottom lane nagpa-farm na solo yung Varus i-type nyo na yun pag nawala yung Varus uh, you have the option to go back or yeah. even fight uh, or you can five keep people. going because oh. that's a lot of long range poke and remove. initiation remove. Or, or counter initiation removal. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, the Trundle, despite being being very, very strong in that and matchup, is too as well. hard to just take out. My curiosity as well is on the pop mm -hmm. I mean. Picking it into the Trundle? Yes, I'm very curious. But uh, I would suggest a different big greedy, especially if you're a poppy and the meta cause. The meta right now dictates a lot of uh, armor penetration. A lot of armor lethality. penetration. Yes, in uh, this game. Lethality and damage. And uh, against a blind picked trundle, I mean, there are a lot of other better options. Yeah, I believe. we would have recommended Jace, but yeah. Jace has been nerfed. Ganon. Jace has been but nerfed. I, I would not uh, recommend a poppy. Mm, not a definitely pick. not a poppy. The focus on being attacked for poppy mm -hmm. just gets shredded by the subjugate. Yes, and yes. as well, the sustain, the natural sustain coming mm -hmm. from the tribute is really hard to lane up against and continue to be relevant against yes. a trundle. So there you have it guys, the first insights for the first game in the first match. What are your thoughts guys? Hindi lang po kami nag-analyze dito. Ang nag para sa laro, tell us. Tell us what are your thoughts. So, that is the first game and the conclusion of game one for TME versus TNC. We still have game two at kami po yung naging shoutcaster for that game. I am Shinbu with one for an eye and of course with me is Atlas Pro Gaming Series 2017 Spring Split powered by Bacchus Energy Drink. Drive your energy and we'll be right back. But B, the Trundle, our inner bottom lane turret will be God focus on the shadow. Puts in the subject to the support now on to market in the ball of duo oh of God. DME is gone. Here comes Chalk, here comes Corky, and here comes Burst, and the rest of the members of DNC. Match is doing some trade up in the red side jungle. Chalk is doing their best to Zaku as well to defend the chase and the siege and the engage of D and C. It's a 3 for one exchange. Oh my god, I love that response from the NC there. The mid game here, they saw Redding Towers. Now here comes the initiate of Goose Bullet Time, ladies and gentlemen, and Chalk will cut the members of the NC. Nice placement of the package! Para the Colizer Ramal! And you back in two members of the NC. Good job there with the match. Would be initiating on Scoops gets punished by Marky with a bullet time. And even an NC Daisy, two members remaining for DM. He will maybe be involved to defend this one. Raze managed to smite his 
Nat, Marky, Wina Q, whereas Lando and Arthur. <laughs> also, here comes Chok. Ah, members, Coops rather doing his best to soak up damage from more members of DNC. We mentioned two inhibitors make the three. How many DNC? As two members are still on the death timers. Clearly, clearly. Uh, it's just a matter of time. What DNC needs here is just a ball back and, you know, fight him again. And they have a lot of pressure. Oh, and Baron is still available. He's strong. Or this game. Oh, no, it's kind of. Unstoppable na from the rest of the members of the Manila Eagles. Ladies and gentlemen, in a fashionable manner. I think this could be the game. It's only a matter of bringing Rays inside the base of PMA. And there you go. It's gonna be DNC. Pro Team. Wow. Victory against Team Manila Eagles.